Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G5 5590 and the regulatory model for this one is a P82F5100 and this laptop comes with a 16 gig RAM, 500 gig NVMe SSD drive and RTX 2060 with 6 gig video RAM. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open up, how you can replace the SSD drive in here and if you can add an additional ones and what are the options that you can have in here just remember once you upgrade your solid state drive it's highly recommended that you guys install your windows off the usb flash drive i made a really short video how do you create your windows 10 or windows 11 usb boot drive it's free and it takes up to five to ten minutes to install it on your laptop those links can be found on the video description in case you need to but in this video, we're going to open it up and we're going to show you guys how to disassemble and how you can op remove or replace. All right, first thing first, back up your files uh, to the external hard drive and power off the laptop. On the bottom case, uh, we're going to look at it and we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. It's an iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an tweezers, opening tools, and few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick, and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You only need a curved tweezers in case. With all this on hand, we're gonna remove all the screws on the bottom of covered in here, except the two mid back ones. You don't wanna touch these ones right now because they have a little C lock on them that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. We're gonna start from corner to corner. We're gonna remove everything, the one in the front too. And we're going to keep them in one pile as they are all the same size and height. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos useful and helping you guys out through your own upgrade servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove the screws, now we're going to loosen up the two screws at the back until you hear a little click like that and you're gonna hear the cover just comes out the c-lock what it does right there is helping you guys to remove the cover as it lifts up the cover upward so there you go now you got the cover detached you can grab it from here and pull it back and it will remove itself so this is the really good thing about having a c-lock on the screws it helps you to push away the bottom cover all right down here we're gonna see right away that you can have a mechanical drive in here or another ssd drive they give you a caddy and they give you a little tiny adapter right there and the nvme is right over here and the battery right over here to do any upgrade on here you don't need to remove the battery is absolutely not necessary and if you want to remove the battery you just have to pull this jack upward towards the ceiling and the jack will get disconnected but you don't need to conserve the configuration all right First, let's go over the SATA connector right in here. That should uh, draw how to remove it. First, we're gonna remove the caddy by removing three screws on the caddy on the sides. One right there, one screw right there. The chrome screws we're gonna be removing that touches this metal cover. And they actually provide you with the four screws to hold the hard drive in place. Once you remove this one, grab the caddy, bring it up. There's that tiny nice adapter they gave you. You can run this adapter through here. Be careful with this blue ribbon cable, plastic on top. You don't want to damage that, so remove the adapter. And they give you extra screws in here to hold the hard drive in place. Let's say you want to add a mechanical drive or SSD drive in here. Doesn't matter, it has to be a low profile. Uh, all the SSDs are low profile, but if you want to get a mechanical one, you can get up to two terabyte low profile. And what you want to do, you want to place it in this position. Make sure these screw holes are matching right there and you can remove the screws from here and attach it right in here. You can put a mechanical drive or solid state drive. Once you remove all the screws you put in here, you want to grab the adapter, push in the adapter. And before we put in, we need to plug in. This is an HDD. This is for the hard drive. You want to lift up this cover upward 90 degree and we do want to put this adapter like this. There's a little bend in there. You want to bend it right there. 
and you want to bring it first let's go ahead and rotate it like this so it's easy the blue cover has to look upward i'm gonna do this way so you guys don't see my finger right in through there i'm gonna put this flex cable right through the jack all the way inside There. Once it's inside there, we're just gonna lock it. We're gonna fl rotate, flip it over, and we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna set it down. Now we can put the three screws that we remove on the caddy right in here and we keep it in place. Leave this one the way it is, that's fine. If you wanna accommodate this one, you can remove the screws for the battery and put flex cable right under the battery. There's only one, two, three, four screws and the battery can be lifted and you can it's slider, but there is no problem right there. It's not a stressed or anything like that. That's one way to remove it. This is for demonstration. I'm not actually gonna do it. To remove, lift up the cover and slide out the flex cable. And this is what the way that you can add extra storage if you want to. Now we're gonna go over NVMe drive and I'm gonna show you how to remove that one now. For the NVMe drive, there's only one and two screws. We need to remove this. There's actually a heat sink, so we remove the heat sink, this one and this one right here. Remove the heat sink. Okay, then lift up the heat sink and put the heat sink to one side, and you want to remove this screw at the back of this place right here and once you remove the screw you can lift up the ssd about 10 degree upward you don't want to bring it too much remove this one just like that and then you want to slide it out backward just like that and that's your nvme drive you can grab any nvme drive all the nvmes they have one notch in them the two notch are uh, mseta make sure yours is one notch the best brands are in Samsung brand, so you can grab your new SSD, bring it in 10 degree, make sure the notch matches, and slide it right through there, bring it down to the motherboard, and put the tiny screw right at the back. Again, to do this process, you do not need to remove the battery, it's absolutely not necessary. And you want to put the heat sink right on top. So if you have unplugged the battery, plug it back in together, push it back in, grab the bottom cover, bring it over, make sure you put the front end first, push, squeeze down, make sure you hit those tiny clicks. Once you have those in place, now just tighten up the C-lock screws and it's gonna pull the cover to itself. Now we can finish it up by putting the rest of the screws at the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish it up and by putting up the bottom screws.